What's up YouTube, Jeff back again and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to re-enable the Galaxy Phone Labs hidden menu that Samsung took away some time ago when they came out with One UI 5.0 and 5.1. This is a really awesome menu that enabled you to get some additional features in addition to the ability to actually fake and simulate kind of a, a fake call to kind of test your call settings and also like if you're in a meeting and you want to get out of it can fake a call. It's very cool and I'll show you guys how to re-enable that today even though Samsung officially took it away in One UI. Before we do, I want to remind you guys if you're interested in getting some premium wireless for a great price, upgrading your wireless, you can do so with my friends and partners over at Mint Mobile. They have premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month and as of this month they upgraded all of their data plans with even more data and no additional cost. They now have a 5 gigabyte a month plan for 15 a month. They've got a 15 gig a month plan for 20 a month. They've got a 20 gig a month plan for 25 a month. And of course, their unlimited plan for 30 a month, but now has 40 gigabytes of 5G and 4G LTE data. All their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, as well as a mobile hotspot included. Very simple to switch to Mint. All you got to do is go to their website, sign up for any three-month plan. You'll get either an eSIM or a physical SIM. They'll send you out a SIM tool as well if you opt for the physical SIM. Pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, and let the savings begin. I've had great service with them here in Phoenix, and if you haven't tried it out yet, um, it's a perfect time to start because not only did they add more data to all these plans for no additional cost, if you go to my link right now, mintmobile.com slash Springer, it's also in the pinned comment description, sign up for any three-month plan. You can get a free smartphone case sent by me as a thank you for trying out Mint Mobile. Uh, any type of your choice, any phone, any manufacturer, like the D-Man Grip that I have right here for the S23 Ultra, just go to mintmobile.com slash Springer, sign up for any three-month plan, get in touch with me on Twitter or email to send a screenshot of your order, and I'll get you out that case. And we really do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I want to show you guys exactly how to enable this menu. So first of all, let's talk about how you used to be able to enable this. If you go into the actual phone application in One UI, you used to be able to go to settings and you used to be able to scroll down to about phone and you used to be able to tap on the version number a bunch of times and you would get the phone labs option. Kind of like you do when you enable developer options in Android or like you enable the gallery option uh, for gallery labs on your Samsung device. You used to be able to do this with phone labs as well. It would pop up and give you all of these cool options. Well, Samsung took that away with One UI 5.0 and 5.1, but now there's a way that you can actually re-enable this. It does involve downloading an application from the Play Store, which I've talked about on this channel quite a bit lately because I really have started to enjoy this app. It's fantastic. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Actually, the number of things you can do with this is kind of unlimited, which is Shortcut Maker. Um, I'll drop the link below to it. Shortcut Maker basically lets you create a shortcut on your home screen to pretty much any application, activity, or action on your Samsung Galaxy or Android device. You can see I gave it a five-star rating on the Play Store, but not just me. It's got a 4.5 rating on the Play Store, uh, over 13,500 reviews. So it's a very quality app. There's a free version. There's also a paid version for more features, um, but there is a free version. So to create the shortcut, you guys can see I already have it right there. But to create this, you're going to download the Shortcut Maker app, then go into Shortcut Maker. There it is. And um, let me actually go back to the home screen so I can show you how I did this. Um, you're going to go from the home screen. This is what the app looks like. You're going to find the Activities option here at the top. Tap on Activities. And then you're going to tap in here, Labs. And you'll see Call and Settings. So first of all, you want the Call one. Go to Call Labs. And then you're going to edit this. You can see that I actually edited the icon so it's consistent with my icon pack. I'm using the Aries Black icon pack from my friend One4 Studio. The link for that will be below if you're interested. You can tap this and edit the icon to any icon pack that you have on your device. You can see all the different ones I have. That's how I created the one that's on my home screen now. Uh, you can change the name. You can do shortcut lock if you want to lock it. I don't really know why you'd want to lock a labs option, but that would be something you could do for other applications. You can also bookmark or favorite this one for later. But anyway, I already added it. Once you do that, you just hit the check mark. It'll get added to your home screen. And then you can go in here and you've got the same labs menu. You can see it says it can cause unintentional operation at any time. Of course, there's always a disclaimer that Samsung makes with everything. Labs are experimental features. They're not something that's meant to be stable. So, you know, you have to use caution when you use those kind of exercise caution as you use them. So here are the options that we had before. It's pretty much the same ones. You've got fake call settings. You can put in a fake phone number. I just put in a random one, call or display name. Now there is one thing that I will tell you, you guys can actually probably see it here. It doesn't work properly with dark mode. So you can see how it has the black text with the gray background. So if you want the labs menu to look correctly, you're gonna have to turn off dark mode, which is really annoying to me because I love dark mode. 
I don't really use my phone. So it, it almost blinds me when I use it in light mode. But you can actually read the text if you use it in light mode. You can change the call display name, whatever you want. Then over here, you can place a call. So if you hit place call, it's going to place the call and then show you the background right here. Hang up. It looks menu just like a menu you get with a regular car. Add a new incoming call. So it'll simulate like you're getting a call. This is pretty cool because obviously then if you're in a meeting or you're, you know, whatever, on a date, on a social engagement with someone you don't want to be there, you can fake a call. You can also have input delay time. This doesn't actually seem to work for me. You're supposed to be able to put in a delay. And then once you hit the call button, it'll automatically call you like within 30 seconds or 20 seconds. Uh, disable proximity sensor. You can do that. Uh, if you're in a game, you can disable the proximity sensor, which might be something that you want to do. Call accept, reject button action. I don't have a problem with the current action, but you can choose single tap, double tap, or long press if you want to edit that. Disable the call in screen. I like the call in screen, but some people don't like it because it lingers. You want it just to go away right away. Um, so you could turn that on if you're one of those people. Uh, and then the one that I kind of like to turn on, contact photo call background. Display the contacts photo as a call background. So the whole background will then be their call photo kind of in a full screen look. I think that looks pretty cool. But I mean, it's really up to you. I personally think the fake call setting um, and maybe the disable uh, the in call screen, if you don't like that option that comes with default, is probably the most useful thing in this labs menu. But I just cannot stand running my phone in light mode. So I'm going to have to turn it back on dark mode. So again, uh, the menus don't show up perfectly in dark mode. So that's another thing to be aware of. Um, this is not supposed to be something that you're really supposed to be using because Samsung hit it, got rid of it on purpose. We just brought it back with Shortcut Maker. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video to get the phone labs back on your phone. If you did, like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon for future videos like this. If you're interested in some premium wireless as well as getting a free case sent from me, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. Also in the pinned comment description, sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. Get in touch with me via email or over on Twitter, and I'll get you out that free case. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.